Hi guys, it's Kim from KK's Creations and today I'm going to start, um, yesterday the machine was unloaded and today I'm going to show you what um, you need to do next. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off this zip tie. Okay, and that had the keys in it. And then there's another zip tie back there that I'm going to clip off. out this black foam okay so then we have water chiller and then we have the air compressor the toolbox and the mixed blow in line fan Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is just cut all the plastic off, um, all of these things. The next thing we did was put a level in to see if it's level, and if yours is not level, then you need just to those little black feet until it's level. The next thing we're going to do is unscrew the lid and put the funnel in, and we're going to fill this up with water, distilled water, until it gets to the normal range. You can see the bubble is moving up on that. And that's good right there. Okay, so the next thing in the toolbox, we're gonna to take out the cord that's got this white thing on the end of it, and then this uh, rubber tubing. But you also need the cord that has these little two th these little things on the end. Okay, so now we're gonna take this cord and plug it into the water chiller. And then we're going to take the other end and plug it into that little slot right there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take off this black cap. And then these are keyed. So you're going to stick that in and then twist it on. And then take the other end and put it in right there. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is take off these protective caps. And then you're gonna put one end on the outlet. And then that's gonna go to the water in. And the next one is going the water out. And it's going to go on the one that says inlet. Okay, and then you're just going to flip the on and off switch to on. The next thing we're going to do is take this blue hose and twist it into the little end. I'm going to take the blue hose and plug it into that right there. I just push it in. Okay, so now we're going to take this plug and plug it into right there. 
Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is slip the clamp over the tube. And now he's going to pull it on to the back of this. And then he's gonna tighten it down with a screwdriver. Okay, now he's gonna attach it to here. And you just wanna make sure when you put the ring on that it's like behind at least one of these rings before you attach the uh, this thing. And the arrow means the direction of the flow. So just make sure you put them on the right side. And now he's gonna put this one, he's gonna do the same thing that he did on the other side, on this side. And then this other end will attach to the exterior bed. Now we're gonna attach the power cable right there. Okay, so now we're gonna attach the power cable. And the t 20 amp uh, plug. The next thing we're gonna do is put this up. And do the emergency stop. We're gonna twist it so that it's released. Now we're gonna turn on the main power switch. And this shows up on your screen. The next thing we're gonna do is check, check the axes and you can see the little red dot on there. And the way we're checking those is we're pushing the arrow buttons. Now we're going to turn on the laser switch. Okay, and that's what my numbers are showing. Okay, so now we're going to open this up and check the laser tube. And we're going to look for air bubbles. There. So to get rid of the air bubbles, you just squeeze the tube. Now we're gonna close the lid back down. Okay, now we're gonna check the laser pulse. Okay, so now we're gonna hook up the USB to my computer. And now we're gonna scan and look for the device. And it shows up on the screen.